so this is continuing to build your support network. So in the last couple of weeks I've had a really hard time, but I've been able to stay above it all and not let it negatively affect the decisions that I make in my life because of the support network that I've been able to build for myself and for the fact that I have people in my life that I really can you know, rely on to, to come to when I am upset, when I'm hurting, um, when I feel like I can't handle it all myself. Um, I really, I've been doing a lot of research into PTSD um, this week and I don't want to self-diagnose anything, but I think that I might have um, some form of PTSD. And um, I'm going to explore that with my therapist um, starting tomorrow and I'm really excited to see how that goes, but it's just been really eye-opening to see um, just how much, you know, those, those stress things um, have really gotten out of control and gotten to a place that is not something that I can handle myself. And, you know, I think part of the most, like one of the most relieving things that I heard, you know, when I started doing that research was, you know, you literally can't do it yourself. Like, there is no way to, to treat PTSD um, in your own environment. And, you know, that was honestly relieving for me because I had been trying for so long to figure out, you know, what was wrong with me and why I'd been feeling so, so much stress and so much anxiety. And, you know, just knowing that, you know, I, I need to find a clinical setting that can help me treat that is really, you know, it's incur it's like, I know what I need to do now. And for so long I struggled with something that I just thought I could get through. But, you know, sometimes you really do need to go see help and get help with the things that you're struggling with. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't have access to that kind of healthcare a lot of the times, but there have been more and more things every day, you know, online counseling and just a bunch of other great things that I really feel like, you know, are changing the way that a lot of people can access their health care. And I'm really excited to see that. Um, I'm really glad that I know the path that I, I need to go down to start to heal. Because um, for so long it felt like I was kind of going in circles. Um, I'm, I'm proud of myself for, for sticking through this and even though I was suffering through something like this, I did what I could and ironically enough when I started researching PTSD, a lot of the things that I've been doing like exercise and yoga are actually used in PTSD therapy because they help you deal with pain in a less like intense way you know it's like when I'm working out I'm I'm going through like high pain you know settings but it was building my tolerance to that pain by being able to go through it and you know it's it's a different kind of pain that's not so um, close to my trauma you know and so that but that translates back into the trauma that I'm working through and it helps me get through that and be able to process that pain in a little bit healthier of a way and I just, I really love that overlay and that interconnection between all the different forms of healing that I've been, you know, participating in. And I also love, it's just so amazing to me how intuitive the human body is. And when you feel like something is wrong and, you know, you need to change it, a lot of the times, you know, when you start doing the things that feel good, they end up being the things that, you know, people say you need, you know, and like the professionals would recommend to you. And it's really just about listening to your body and being like, hey, this is working for me, or hey, this is not working for me. And you can always feel, you know, whether something is going to be, you know, more positive towards you or not. You know, a lot of times we get those signals confused and, you know, we can get, you know, a sense of obligation and responsibility confused with, you know, doing what is right for us but it's always there that voice is always there if you can learn how to listen to it and just stay in tune with your own body and I think that's just amazing and it's been really just a beautiful process to be involved with and to see unfold um, in front of me and through these videos you know I, I have a trail 
that I can actually see my progress. And it's just, I really recommend you know, some sort of journaling to anyone who's watching this video because it really does help just to have some record of the things that occur in your life and how you're processing them and what works and what doesn't. Um, I'm incredibly grateful for the realizations that I've made this week. I'm incredibly grateful for the people in my life, um, even my clients who really were there when I needed them. And, you know, it just, I really, it goes back to my spiritual side of things, but I really do think that when you're doing the work that you need to do, even when you're going through really hard times, you know, you find the things that you need to get through them. And, you know, I, I just really, it's been humbling and awe-inspiring to see people really showcasing their humanity and being so open and compassionate with me in my lowest, my lowest times. And I'm internally grateful for that and just so very thankful that I have this, um, this audience and this, this format to share this with. Um, so thank you for watching. I'm going to do some more positive affirmations because it's kind of my thing. And um, yeah, that'll be, that'll be that. Um, I am beautiful. I am love. I am deserving of positivity and kindness in my life. I'm deserving of compassion. I'm deserving of truth and honesty and respect as a person. I do not deserve to settle for less than what I deserve. I deserve only the things in my life that are bringing me joy and positivity and love and growth. Um, I am eternally grateful for the connections that I have with the universe and with myself and with all the people around me. Um, I'm eternally grateful for my family and my friends that have been by my side for a long time now. I am so grateful to be finding my voice and to be able to speak it to the people who are willing to listen in my life. Um, I'm so grateful to be doing the work that I do and to have the career that I have. I am so grateful to be surrounded by, by this loving network and support and just like-minded people that I've, I've brought into my life. Um, I'm so glad to be finding where I fit in and where I resonate and I am so glad that I'm not settling for anything less than what I deserve. I am full of infinite possibility and infinite potential. I am the brightest light that this universe has ever seen and I'm going to keep on shining um, until everyone else is just as bright. So. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Um, I'm grateful for your time and your intention in watching this. And I, I love all of you. Y'all are my family. Y'all are part of my family. Y'all are on this journey with me and I couldn't do without you. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being a part of this and um, much love always.